tea over here. I got to go get my fix. That looks so good. You know, the weekend is almost here, and that may have you dreaming of your next vacation. But getting away right now is really proving challenging for a lot of people because of the coronavirus pandemic. So as News 5's Frank Wiley shows us, some people are choosing to hit the road camper style. Boom is uh, a word that we don't use very often, and that is how it's been. A boom in business for Angela Dudziak at Lorraine's Neff Brothers RV. We did 60 rentals in just under three weeks, and that number is off, our, off the charts. Never have hit that number um, ever. A vast majority of those customers, first timers. It's the newbies, um, people that have never done this, people that are used, usually going to hotels and cruises and you know want to still have a vacation and do something new. Something that Dr. Nikita Desai at the Cleveland Clinic says makes sense. The reality is, we are in unprecedented times and we are kind of figuring this out as we go along. What's safe for one person may not necessarily be what's okay for another person. More Americans are starting to fly again. The New York Times just reported some airlines are adding flights for July, but the numbers are far below what they were last year because some people are hesitant to be in tight spaces or wear a mask for that long. So Dr. Desai says if you can't get a flight or would prefer to avoid as many people as possible, an RV could be a safe alternative. I think that the RV is a great idea, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I still think that the biggest risk for transmission from person to person is when you're in a poorly ventilated indoor area with tons of people. But with an RV. Being in an RV, you're able to go somewhere and still just share germs with your household members. So I think it's a great idea. Frank Wiley, News 5.